In the year 1894, an Austrian industrialist, Ludwig Hatschek, created a new material by mixing 90% cement and 10% asbestos fibers and then running it through a papermaking machine. This new material was asbestos cement sheeting, a product destined to change the roofs of the world. Ludwig Hatschek named it Eternit. Eternit created a revolution in the construction industry. It was light yet durable, as well as resistant to heat, fire and chemicals, and thus could be used in various applications. However, from the 1920s, scientific evidence started pointing to some disturbing news related to asbestos. It became more and more clear that asbestos was harmful to health. If a product containing asbestos is disturbed, tiny fibres are released into the air and when inhaled can cause lung disease, respiratory problems and even death. There was a need to find a substitute for asbestos fibres compatible with the Hatchek machine yet without the danger to humans. And so began a long and painstaking journey to discover a new way to make products that would once again satisfy the construction market. An ingredient was needed that could improve the efficiency of the fibres in the new recipe and increase the performance of the binder while remaining compatible with the Hatchek machine. Elkham found that a material called microsilica was an ideal solution. When microsilica is added to a fibre cement recipe, it coats the fibres in cement grains and improves their efficiency through improved dispersion. And it then reacts with the cement byproducts and dramatically improves the properties of the binder. Today, most manufacturers of non asbestos products have found that the best all round ingredient is microsilica. Microsilica has enabled producers to continue manufacturing high quality, high performance, durable roofing material and other products without the use of harmful asbestos. Thanks to Elkham's technology, both producers and consumers have benefited significantly with quality products that are safe and durable.